Okay. Uh, currently, we have discussed about uh, this uh, grid layout and floor layout. Floor layout are yeah, uh, these uh, items which you include GUI items like buttons, labels that you include into the graphical user interface will flow from uh, right to, uh, from left to right. And then in the grid layout, we can position them as a table. And uh, there is another one interesting, so that is a uh, border layout. So we can divide this uh, basically window into north, south, east, west, and center. So basically, these are the sides. So we can include elements after dividing. Uh, so this is important when organizing content in a window. So basically, if you open an application like Photoshop, you can see this corner is basically allocated for the uh, palettes. And so that is basically, you can say east corner. And the west corner is allocated here also this one. The west corner is this file. And the east corner, east corner is this. You can see there are some tools there. And in the middle, you can see this one. Top is basically the title and status bar in the bottom. So in any window, this border allocation is there. So it is important to learn this border layout too. So let's start with the same example that we have done, the adaptability example. And this time we have include border layout instead of the other layouts. Okay, let's do that. To import, I'm using uh, both packages. One is AWP package, the second package is string package. You can start coding with me. I'm telling AWP BL example, AWP order layout example. Let's save this as AWT BL dot EX dot Java. So I have to replace all these things, the constructor, and how can I make objects? Okay, I think I have done everything. Okay, let's uh, include, now let's include a JFrame. And in the JFrame, we can, uh, simplest thing is let's add some button to uh, button to the each side. Right, I'm going to declare buttons. So I need five buttons. So button B1, B2, B3, B4, B5. So let's uh, name them button uh, B1 is, I'm going to include it in, in uh, North bn then button east button south button west and button center okay so let's name them button uh, north button north and button east button south, west, center. To recognize, I'm giving these names. You can give any name, right? Any name that you like. For recognizing purpose, I'm giving this east, south, west, center. Okay. Uh, you can include other uh, fields also, but here I'm going to avoid them, only buttons. So easy to represent. Then let's set the layout. Uh, let's add a J frame, right? Then F dot set layout. new border layout distance Sim simple similar to the previous and you can give the horizontal gap and the vertical gap 
horizontal gap between these uh, 30 pixels and vertical gap 10 pixels. Then let's add them. Now you need to add to the different borders. Now you need to add to the different borders. That can be done by calling the border layout class. And there are methods. So there are properties, not method. North. So you can set the properties. North need to be added into the north. Uh, you have to say so which one to add right b uh, you have a button north you need to add it to the north similarly you can add other buttons to other borders so please do this and finally what you need to do is you can set the title and uh, a wt border layout example uh, set layout is need already done and then you can say set visible set size all these things mm. Okay. Can you do that one alone? So I'm going to save this. So this won't run because uh, this will run, but still it, it has only one button. So you can do this quickly within five minutes. This when meeting adding, is being uh, recorded. Have you added them to the all borders? All the borders? That means uh, this border uh, BN1 to this and then north, uh, south, east. Oh, yeah, I did I did that. But it only shows... I think the center button might be too big, but I'm not sure. Is it? Wait, wait. North, uh, sorry, east, then south... Then west and center. So these buttons, button north, button east, button uh, south, button west and button center. Okay, save it. Then compile. You can add that exit on close also because it's not closing by default. J frame exit on close that you can add. Just a suggestion. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, okay. Seems so. This is what I'm getting. I'm not sure why you're not getting that. This is what I'm oh, getting. I know. I know why. Uh. Can you see? So the gap is 30 and 10. Have you mentioned this gap? The horizontal gap and the word. Okay, let 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 I let you share. It's easy. Can you share it? Uh, yeah, I I figured it out, but so what's the issue? So I said oh. I said a different one, a different one of these for each of the buttons. So I thought oh, you that's the thing. Was... That's why I said yeah, have you said the border layout game 30 and 10. So if it is 30 is too much, you can say 10, 10. 10 and 10. Okay. So just mention 10, 10. Because this is actually horizontal virtual uh, uh, horizontal gap pad, then uh, vertical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. That is what happened, right? When you maximize, it will just maximize according. So this is like uh, 
spread in, right? Spread in like this. Because you have initially given the size 350, 200, where when you increase when you expand that, it adjusts according to the layout given. Okay, good. So this is a board, uh, this is border layout. And uh, then, so I said that I will teach other layouts too. So let's uh, quickly go to the uh, another layout. Let's quickly learn another layout. Wait, sorry, I have to make sure this. Yes, one bracket. Okay. This time, let's try to introduce a box layout. I think we have not discussed about the box layout. Box layout is where basically the things are either aligned horizontally or vertically uh, or so there are different ways you can align things horizontally or you can align the things vertically okay let's uh, do this quickly to do the same um need same same thing and again uh, here i'm adding uh, okay can add any number of buttons mm, okay let's do like this okay let's do like this uh, To add multiple buttons, this time let me use a list array, basically. Array of buttons, a set of buttons. You can do manually also. This is also okay. Button, BTNS buttons. This is basic, uh, this is a box layout. Let's keep the same name, doesn't matter, right? Buttons, then um, what I'm going to do, Uh, within this, this is an array, right? This is an array. And what I'm going to do, then I'm going to define this PTNS. This is a frame. PTNS equal new button. So the five buttons I'm going to introduce. You can say 10 even. So then I, I, I can assign a for loop to generate these buttons for I n p k equal one, uh, k less than or equal to five, k plus plus. So how I'm going to assign the buttons, uh, b u t t b buttons, b t n s, b t n s i, the first button, second button, third button, so a zero button to, uh, it should be zero button to fourth button, starting from zero because these are arrays and lists. Equal new button. Then I'm going to assign the name as button. And with that, I'm going to add button zero to, uh, you can add button I, button K, sorry, button K. Oh, K plus one even, that doesn't matter. K plus one. K, O, K plus one. Okay, that will create five buttons. Then, uh, since I am in this uh, constructor, I can add this to, at the same time, I can add this to the, uh, So this will add five buttons. And if I need 10, you can change this to uh, 10 and add, this, add those 10 buttons there. That is now like, but here also you need to mention 10. There are 10 buttons. Now it is a loop, you can control the number. Okay, if, uh, after that, what is the layout? I will set the layout new uh, box layout. New box layout and I'm going to add this uh, box layout and I have to mention the axis. Y axis or X axis. Mm, if uh, set layout, new box layout, 
subject and box layout x axis x axis is horizontally if i give y axis it is vertically since there are 10 buttons i'll mention 600 and 200 okay that's it save it will automatically add things Let's change it this to meeting is being access. recorded. You can change it to I access and try. Again, then you can get this done. Then you have to change the height, right? I guess, yes. Ah, okay, it's like packed. But when you change the height, you can see it properly. Okay, this is how uh, the box layout. It's very simple. It's a very, very simple. One. This is how the box layout is built. Right. So only thing is like why I have extended because like uh, so make it easy. If you are not extending, you have to do like this. If you are not extending, we we have learned these both methods, right? We have learned both methods. If you are not extending, what you need to do? You need to implement. So you need to create object and then add them. If you are not extending, create object, frame f equal new frame. Then to the frame instead of set layout, you have to say f dot set layout. F dot set size, F dot set title, likewise you have to call. So create the object and to the object you can apply the same. If you're not extending, but just extend it to make it easy. Okay, uh, then uh, the last for today is a little bit complex, that is grid bag layout. Right, little bit complex. It is grid bag layout, similar to grid layout, but there are uh, like uh, Okay, sorry, I think I got disconnected. Right, now in read bag layout, basically it's similar to read layout, but uh, so we can make it more complex by com customizing the grid. Okay, so let's add a few classes related to this. You can say uh, java.awt.asterisk, that is also enough, and java.sync.asterisk, that is enough, or you can specifically mention the required one java awt button you need to this and you need a grid bag con 
constraints, trade back constraints, then the trade back layout as well as here AWT. Sorry. And swing package, read back layout. And then import Java X sync. Okay, uh, let's uh, do read back layout GBL. Java AWT grid bag layout example extends J frame. Let's make it easy. Let's save the file as AWT GBL layout. AWT grid bag layout. AWT grid bag layout example. AWT GBL yes. Okay. So let's create a read back layout first. Read back layout. Read back layout. Uh, GBL equal new. Read back layout. And also the constraints, read back layout constraints. Okay, let me quickly code this and I'll explain one by one, right? That is easy, I guess. So you can code with me. All right, how this happens? Actually, this is a fully customizable grid layout. So I'm going to uh, show this uh, actually. So this is a J frame. So in the first part, so this X and Y, this is actually the row index and the column index. Um, adding uh, the first one to zero zero position zero zero think this as a table think this as a table then you'll get an idea if this is a table so this is the zero and this is the zero so the zero 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 position is this first button will be added here then uh, it is one zero so the next one is one zero so one zero is basically zero twice this one is this you are going to add your second to there, this is one zero. This is your second button. This is first button. Then the next button will be uh, with a padding. With a padding means there's a gap. Uh, padding Y gap means there is a gap between here to here. And then zero one button three will be here. Then one one button four will be here. Then next one is zero two. Zero two means zero two means here but here actually it's a zero one the first second but what you are going to do is you are going to merge them so that is done by grid width grid width will allow you to merge one and so both both these cells can be merged like this by making grid width. so there i am going to add the button file actually once added so we'll see the preview like this so this is a bit complex, but it's a very customizable and flexible one. So let me compile. The compilation now and interpretation. Don't worry, I will send the code. I will send the code so you can copy and paste. Because this is a bit lengthy, I know. Sometimes you will get a lot of errors when you are trying to 
implement this. Okay, here you can see one, two, three, four, five. Uh, the width is too much. You can reduce the width. Uh, width is too much. Let's reduce to 300 or 400, some small amount. Because this is. Okay, likewise, you can organize the content in your. You can organize the content in your. Uh, in your window, in your frame. But this organizing is done similar to the grid layout. Only thing is you are customizing them, merging some. So this is actually. The most practical thing. Okay, what I can do is I will send you the code. You can just so I know you are trying, but just refer to this code as well. So let me share this with you. Yeah, how yeah, I have added the code to the chat. Please copy from there and you can modify the on version and then get a better result. Java file is attached for you. Okay, now actually we have discussed a lot of layouts. Next day we can move use one of these. I need you to install small software that name is NetBeans. NetBeans. Because we have done coding up to here, we have done coding using Notepad and Notepad plus plus brackets, different text editors. But so let's speed up the process by using IDE. So let's download NetBeans IDE for the next class. This is for the next class, right? Please download and install it. You can install it in your uh, Linux version. Doesn't matter. Then let's do the database coding. Uh, and conclude the sessions. Okay, so I will stop from here. Then goodbye. Hello, Minaga. Did you copy? Yes, I copied it. Okay, so shall I stop? Uh, yeah. Okay, goodbye.